Are you in here? Pentos? Dear Mom, I'm so, so sorry to write to you like this, but I know that if I told this to your face, I'd never be able to go. Gemma and I are joining the Legion. The stories you told me about Huyan boil in my heart. You taught the Taylos to climb, to test the rock with your feet to see if it will hold, to lift someone up while maintaining your balance. Meeting Gemma and the other Kaimordium made me think Huyan didn't teach us these things just to keep the Taylo safe. Everyone deserves to be safe. To have someone protect them. The Legion needs whatever help they can get. And if that means I can protect you and Grandma and the whole village, then I have to go. I've done what you would have wanted. I packed rope and food and spices. I took a little of everything in a couple of your jars, I'm sorry. I'll send another letter as soon as I can. Gemma says there'll be other Taylos there, so maybe I can send some other messages back home. Maybe Uncle Obik can show me the ropes if I'm lucky. I'll do you proud, and I'll come home full of stories. I promise. Penthos. Secondary mission. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking the goose got over here. <laughs> Lance and <laughs> Lark. Mercenary work. A supply type mission. Trail boss Kagashi has been in charge of securing Merchant Prince's stores and safely transporting them to the east. But fleeing soldiers waylaid his caravan. Kagashi is desperate for help getting the cargo back and is willing to pay the Legion handsomely for the retrieved goods. Reward is plus one asset, plus one supply. Penalty is minus one morale. So, is everyone on the mission Osworn to the Legion? Uh, yes. Uh, Intel. Did the commander want to spend one Intel to give what plus one D? Uh, let me just double check our um, Intel. Yeah, yeah, take an Intel. Okay. So two dice. Uh, is everyone on the mission a specialist or a soldier? No. Does anyone, in, any legionnaire, distrust the leadership or not fear them enough to obey orders on the battlefield? No. Uh, any required specialist or equipment not on the mission? No. And then supply mission. So we've got two dice so far. Do you want to spend food, quartermaster? Hmm. I think yes, because we are on that. We're at eight morale now. So I'm on okay. a better chance of this, of this not losing any more people. So yes, have a food okay. die. Cool. Uh, so three dice. Is the current pressure higher than two? No. Okay. 3d6. Let's go. Whoa! 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 Holy oh, shit! That's that's the break we needed. Holy okay. shit! <laughs> ah, On a, a crit. Critical success. On a crit. 
you succeed at the mission and promote one squad member uh, to a soldier. Holy shit. Shit, team team LL is styling out there. Lance and Lark. <laughs> team all talk and yeah. no talk. What's up? <laughs> uh, so team around. all talk, no talk. It's a really good name, Chris. This group comes back, yes. and those two are like best friends now, and no one knows what uh, happened. Lark's a good Lance, listener, is what yeah, Lance, Lance says. Lance is just like going on and on and on, and Lark just like takes a sip from what she's drinking, and Lance is like, exactly, and then continues. <laughs> <laughs> they figured out a language between themselves. I love it. Unbelievable. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, wow. I'm losing it. That's amazing. You fucking love to see it. Well, Lance is competent. He's just an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the swings, the emotional <laughs> swings in this this campaign. So <laughs> it's a horror. Game. <laughs> <laughs> you keep saying that, and you keep being right. God, who, who is this oh, new soldier? What does this mission look like? Uh, I'm just dragging over the. Um, I don't know. I'm. We might introduce them in the downtime. Okay. Uh, I don't want to come up with somebody off the top of my head here. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, I think this is... You You march out. You find these people that made, that made off with the, uh, with the goods. And with just the right good cop, bad cop um, <laughs> show of display of the power of the Legion... You're able to not only get the stuff back, but do it without without having to draw swords. I'm imagining Lark holding a knife to somebody's throat, making them watch uh, uh, as Lance like twirls a fucking gun with his finger oh, yeah. for like, a minute. <laughs> Is it like whatever this um, this mercenary captain who took this uh, stuff back is like retires to his tent? For the night and these two are just there and they grab him and they make him see reason and they make him see cool cool gun tricks too <laughs> is it is it wet work stuff or is it like they just arrive and show and sh- it or is it more in the open i mean it's waltz it's it's uh sorry it's it's, it's lance's style to waltz right in as we've seen <laughs> but it, but is it perhaps Lark making making Lance see that coming in through the back door is uh, <laughs> maybe sometimes even more dramatic. As long as we can waltz right into the captain's tent. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. So you get a soldier, you get plus one supply, and you get an asset. Um, Shit. Which I think uh, is deliberately is deliberately vague. You can decide what the flavor of asset is that you want mm-hmm. based on... I'm imagining the the rookie that graduated to Soldier was just like keeping with the whole like basically Metal Gear Solid uh, setup of this mission. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, the, the rookie was just like judo throwing people left and right as they're like <laughs> sneaking into the camp to knock them out. There's just a trail. And everybody was just like, wow, this, this rookie's just popping off. What is going on? <laughs> well, obviously then this is a Tylos. <laughs> yeah just a trail of mercenaries with balaclavas with stars floating over their heads unconscious you know the, <laughs> the thing in in manga it's it, listen it's an anime podcast we had to at some point oh yeah, but yeah like yeah, yeah. someone just takes on like a whole group of whoever's trying to fight them and at the end they're just like sitting on top of a pile of passed out people <laughs> exactly exactly all right mission penalties and rewards um, incur all penalties for missions not pursued. None. Zero. Holy shit. Marshall detail the results of the secondary mission. We sort of did that. Surviving specialists gain 2 XP. Commander. Mark changes to pressure, time, and intel. Right. Um, so the intel was already marked. Okay. Um, pressure is unchanged because of... Because uh, you succeeded, not failing anything, right? Yep. And then we lose two time, or we rather, I guess a better way of saying it is that we gain two time. Um, we go back. Yes. There are two ticks of time. Two ticks of time is maybe the best way to say it. Yeah. Um, we go from eight ticks of ten uh, to six ticks of ten of the for, sort of first one of three time clocks. 
Okay. Uh, quartermaster, mark changes to supply and assets. Okay, so we got one supply from the secondary, right? Yeah, that's correct. And then one asset that I will probably uh, deal with later. And then also one morale. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add the morale. Yeah. Right, nine. I, I, I updated oh, it, so yeah, we're at nine. Sitting pretty. Yeah, we could have totally lost another rookie. Dick. <laughs> We could be, we could all be telling stories, but no. Only if we succeeded. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, Marshall ma- Mark changes to morale. We just did that. Earn bonus XP. Um, earn bonus XP. Where does bonus XP come from? Uh, it's been so long. Bonus <laughs> XP. Oh, is bonus XP the? Uh... The highest threat level. Oh, maybe, yeah. Because that would just. So I just did that all already. Okay. Um, Nevane got enough to get another special ability. Nice. Um, Ah, diggity. And so I I think that I'm going to give Nevane hardened, um, but I don't think it's the traditional, like, you know, uh, uh, maybe a little bit edgy version of hardened. Um, I think that, I think that for Nabane Harden is just like slightly more confidence. <laughs> I had enough experience to fill my insight track and take another point of aim. Awesome. Um, and I think just like, you know, uh, uh, Eve has been fin- been putting in the practice, and she ranked up to gold in in uh, in competitive. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I also got an advance, but I uh, am yet undecided, so I'll pick this for next time. Okay. Yeah, we'll find out what that is. Update the roster with any new or deceased troops. <sighs> Pentos. Camden. Rip. Does someone... Somebody has to break the news to Gemma. Yeah. No, what Gemma happened? was on the mission. Gemma was there. Oh, Gemma no. oh shit, shit. Yeah, Gemma is, Gemma is the, like, I thought we split other, them up for some reason. Someone, I, nope. Yeah. Someone just give me a snapshot of Gemma coming back. Was Gemma the quiet one? No, I think yeah. that was Pentos. Oh, okay. Well, in that so case... That maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. when they get back, Gemma is the quiet one, just, like, mm-hmm. goes back to his tent or wherever he sleeps and just, like, no one sees him for a bit. I think... Having a time. I think the marshal, like this, this will be a prelude to uh, the the downtime scene I want. But mm-hmm. I think the marshal comes in and and grabs him and boy, we got a debrief. Okay. No sleeping through your debrief. Yeah, Captain Newt and Noah are still alive. I think. I think before they head back into Sarpot, they. They they find you, Kayo, and they're like, um, "Thank you. We didn't. Thank you. What? They sort of look at each other and they're like, "We we couldn't. We didn't do anything. We we just we died in front of that stuff. You may have lost numbers, but you two are still alive, and even those who fell." You tried. And we know that. We're going to carry that forward. Puts out an arm for a handshake. And they each take it in turn. And manage a smile. Kyle just nods and then kind of like, looks at them like, are you going to stay here? Like, do, you, do I need to show you around? Like, isn't sure what they want now? No, no, I think they go after <laughs> that. I think they, they have other duties. To their mm-hmm. to their homes and the people that are that they were defending. We know as players, uh, they're going to get swallowed by the never, right? Yeah. I just think that it's important that the camera knows that when the militia leave us, these two remaining members, they leave us and they are not going to survive another month. I think anyone that is still here that doesn't run, whether they run today or tomorrow. The, the camera marks them for death. 
Maybe it's something like Wulu says, I think they're gonna be okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Kaio just <laughs> looks at her and with a face is just like, oh boy, do we have to, or I just feel like, oh, we have to have this conversation now? Good. Can't save everyone. We don't even know that we need to save them yet. No, we don't. We sure don't. Just sort of like, you know, arm around Walut's shoulders like, let's talk, and is just sort of like leading her back into camp. Back at camp. Select and lead a back at camp scene. That's me, right? I think I'm interested in today, uh, a squad talks about home and asks their captain about theirs. Yeah, I think it would be interesting to have people uh, like around like a campfire, kind of like talking about home, like late into the evening. Maybe people are a little bit drunk because we're like kind of on a rest day. And I think Gemma is there and maybe is talking about um, home. And they were talking about uh, uh, back home. And I think they're talking about Pentos, um, trying to like grieve. Because one thing I think is that uh, 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 Kale, Seer, the Smiling Willow, the, the Lord Keeper um, themselves, I think they're also here. Because I think maybe uh, 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 Gemma had specifically asked them to give them some time to to talk to them, especially because they're a person that like is a eulogizer. There's somebody who helps people uh, 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 deal with grief through through telling stories about the, the the deceased. I think they would be a cool person to have here. Are they taking the pl- the the role of the captain in that way? I was kind of confused what captain means in this context. Do, do the squads have like one person on the squad that is their commanding officer in lieu of the specialists? No, there's no more rank okay. anymore. So what, what do we think captain means in this context? I think you get to pick. Yeah, I, I could see it being a superior. Um, I could see it being Kayo. Um, I could mm-hmm. see it. Being whoever we think is most interesting in that way, right? Yeah. I think Kai would be interesting. Because then we also have Walut, and they can talk about Tylos, hometown stuff. Chris, are you good with playing Kaio here? Sure. Gavin, do you want to play Walut again? Sure. And do we have anyone named already marked out here? I guess Gemma, right? Matthew, do you want to play Gemma? Sure, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I made, uh, the, the fifth rookie that was there, uh, Thar born of Draknor. Nice. Ooh, uh, I'd love to cool. see it. I think a good place for this to start would be maybe Gemma asking Kale maybe about the song that, uh, Aoife and, uh, Camden were like singing on the way. The like funeral dirge that I described a couple times in the last, uh, mission. When I no longer go with you, the way won't smile on sure. When I no longer break with the tide, I hope the kiss of decay is sweet. Because I no longer flow with the wind. When I cease to grow amongst the vines, when I cease. To drink upon the sun I sing with joy As my soul joins all Who's ceased to grow amongst the vines 
When I no longer howl like the moon is for next harvest. When I no longer sail into the sky. I dream of what I'll become next life. Cause I no longer howl at the moon. Thar, um, Thar, Lord of Draknor, who's this Arcadian with sort of like kind of rust reddish skin is like coughing and um, like sniffling a little bit. And is like, I puck, pucker up, pucker up. It makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, I, I shouldn't be laughing. I'm sorry. It's no, just, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Levity is important when dealing with grief. It's funny. And if we can't, you know, kiss death right on the mouth, then, you know, is it really, is it really consent? I, I hadn't thought of, I'm, <laughs> I I'm, I'm, I'll be, hang on, I'll, like, I'll sing this song, but I'm not kissing death. <laughs> you can't make me. Uh, same, says Gemma. Perhaps they can just cuddle you gently. Uh, no, I don't want that. Loot shudders. If yeah. death comes well, whatever. from me. Uh, waving like a like stick um, that I think was like half stuck in in the campfire or something like that, as if it was a sword. If death comes for me, I'm gonna jab it right between its ribs before it lays a single finger on me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Do you intend to live forever? Then no, no, but I mean, kind of. I. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, wouldn't it that, that I, I mean, you, you got to be honest, Thar. Living forever would be pretty nice. I mean, okay, it has advantages that probably you could you could speculate on, but 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 my my people always talk about like legacy of like things that people did. The things that the things that are worth remembering. I've I've done plenty of things that aren't worth remembering. One time I bonked my head, one time I tripped, one time I I'm sure I've had plenty of days where absolutely nothing good or bad happened. Those aren't worth you know, commemorating in song or anything like that. But one time you got your rifle belt tangled over your shoulder in the middle of training and you couldn't get it undone before the marshal saw it. Oh boy! Points with the stick. See, this is exactly it. This is exactly. I remember exactly. That. But but who you are can't just be an endless litany of empty days. My people believe you've got to you've got to have to leave a legacy. You have to have a start and an end. So yeah, of course I'm going to die someday, but I'm not going to go quietly. Is that to say that you don't value memories of a smell that gives you comfort, that reminds you of, of, of better days, of, of your home and people you love? Is that worth remembering, even though it is not a valiant accomplishment? I mean, sure rubs the bridge of his nose. I mean, sure, but, but it's like, I remember, I remember the particular crackle of a fire. I remember the particular smell of roasted apples. I remember a particular outfit. It's like, it's like there's a difference between a day and a moment. I don't know. I'm not good at this. Gemma, uh, do you, do you want to remember your friend by the brave things that they did? Or is there something more more meaningful to you that we can talk about? I don't know if we ever got much of a chance to do brave things. I mostly remember traveling with him, you know, just being with him. You you helped the, the Legion get in and out of the Omniculum. That was quite brave. I don't know about helped. One of us was dying and we hid in a sewer until we could get out. 
I don't think we've done anything brave yet. I'd say existence in this time is brave. Marching forward is brave. <laughs> Anthos was brave. He uh, felt the shot. I don't know. I, if, if I had my choice, you know, I, Penthos and I would still be traveling, right? We'd still be home. Where's, where, where, where would that be? Like now? For the Kaimordi? I mean, they were both Kaimordi, right? So they, their, yeah, home, I, their home is the caravan. No, I think Pentos yeah. was actually Tailos. Oh, Pentos was Tailos. Okay. I thought they were both Kaimordi. Well, I thought they were both Kaimordi. Maybe too. Gemma was trying to convince Pentos to be... I, I think yeah, sure. Thar was legitimately asking, like, where would the caravan be? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, this time of year, he, like, looks up at, like, the sun. Um, and the rest of the, by gods, the s- god in the sky. Yeah. Uh, peeking through <laughs> a cloud. Um, he says, uh, probably by, uh, by the Senate, actually. Big festivals, you know, normally. Long way from here. Probably still good out there let's hope what about you you've got a forest somewhere Mm. i yeah um i no not really i'm once but the legion's home now and uh if the marshal's in here in distance i suggest that all y'all say the same thing will loot makes a very loud um but what 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 do you call it when you like uh clear your nose snort no no like and you like breathe in like the <laughs> noise snort that's snort. a that's a snort oh yeah <laughs> damn it well who preps a, a loogie and spits in the fire oh. um says i'll tell you what I've had enough eventful days. I've had years of eventful days now. I could use one without it. What's home for you, Walut? Home? Home's right here. Around this fire. With the Legion. Jim nods a bit at that, I think. Thar looks over at Kaya. He's like, you think uh, you think the commander's going to make us go north? I don't know that I can think like the commander does. Hmm. I work directly with the commander, and I don't understand how he thinks. <laughs> Thar gets back up. Well, if if it were up to me. <laughs> R- raising the stick now like a scepter of command we would uh I, yeah does I, does he does he keel over at that point i sit down oh, you I, th- I think or does there thar like there's a look on his face where he realizes the joke he was about to make and who he's making it to and how soon he's making it and just sort of like puffs his cheeks and sits down you ain't the commander, rookie. Why are you calling him a rookie, rookie? And then everyone, like, pushes you a little bit. <laughs> he's, he's a rookie. <laughs> pushes back. Give it a year. I'm going to be a soldier. Maybe an officer. And then, gestures to the whole camp. I'm going to be running this joint. You'll see. I think Kyle raises. If people are drinking something, whatever they're drinking out of, and says, may we, may we all live to see that. Here, here. Yeah, I'll drink to that. Clink. Pucker up, pucker up. <laughs> <laughs>
Right now, we are at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 of 10 of our initial bit of time here. Act 1, if you like. Sure. And pressure? Pressure is now 1. Okay. Quartermaster, note, minus 1 food. Okie dokie. What does that bring us to? We have used 3 oh. out of 6 of a food. Cool. Hey, while we're at it, um, you had an asset from the previous mission. Do you know what you're going to... Um, yeah, just because they seem hard to get. Could it be an alchemist? Oh my god, absolutely. Can, can Lance and Lark have brought back a whole other person? <laughs> Tell me about this alchemist. Oh, that's the thing I gotta do now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, Were they hiding in the basement with the militia? Um, I think they might have come back. I, I wonder if it makes more sense for for uh, the secondary mission, Team team All Talk, No Talk, to have oh, brought them back. Like, oh, right. That's where the asset came from. Because they were just true. wildly successful. Yeah. Um, they, they, you know, they fought in, they fought in a couple people out of there. <laughs> Is this someone that was like with the retreating... Forces who saw oh Legion. I'm gonna go with them. Yeah, right. I like the idea of yeah of of Lance and Lark just like walking in, just being extremely competent. Like they they show up, they get the shit done. They're like, all right, well, that's a that's it for us. Goodbye. And this person's like, now see, that's how you move. And yeah. just like, I'm I'm going there. That's excellent. <laughs> like, it was it was. A- it was a crit. I love the idea of this person being wildly impressed and just being like, thank you. Yeah. I'm on board with whatever this Lance think? guy is doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Heard so many things about the Legion. I didn't really know what to expect. And yet here you are. And it's like, wow. Okay. Yeah. That Lance fellow's got moxie. <laughs> I, just, I feel like I could, I, I could get a beer with him, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> Does anyone have a suggestion on heritage? Um, we haven't had a lot of Mitzrayim in the game so far, so I always want to do that one. Yeah. But also, I don't know. Because, like, I know in the base thing, it's like, wasn't there one heritage? It's like, there's going to be a lot of alchemists here, but they don't mm-hmm. oh, exclusively got to be from there. I don't really think we have that. Uh, Iliander's are crafty and Arcadians can be artisans, but, like, it could be anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It could have even been like a Mitzrayim that like learned like herb craft from like traveling through the the Ilions. Yeah, totally. Sure. Maybe dresses a little bit more in Iliander fashion. Ooh. Gavin, you usually have good names here. What are, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it's a biblical name that uh, is in the Aramaic version. So let me just do a random biblical name generator. <laughs> it could also be, because you also said, at least initially, that they could be single ideals. All oh, right, freedom is yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, honor thy mother, or honor thy mother and father is a good one. If we're imagining that they're like a little Iliandri e, maybe there's something we can play with there. Mm-hmm. Something about nature or growth or something. There's also just Suleiman. Suleiman. Which is the uh, Solomon uh, Old English or Old Aramaic? Yeah, that guy's had some lesser keys. Uh, Wasn't that one of the like Bible wizards? <laughs> kind well, of. Hey everyone, thanks for coming to prom. We're the Bible <laughs> He's, wizards. Uh... This is our second <laughs> show, and we're breaking up after this one. Hit it! Oh, God. <laughs> this is our one song called "Chastity Is Purity." We're the Bible <laughs> wizards, and our abstinence until we die. <laughs> yeah, Solomon. It's a Suleiman, but you pronounce the E and okay. the I. Suleiman. Su. Okay. Suleiman. It could also be like a Digimon. <laughs> so there is an actual story where, um, so Solomon had like demons that he. Uh, yeah, yeah, 72 of them. Yeah. Uh, and one of them was like, I got this ring that if you put on, will let you travel instantaneously anywhere you want. And he was like, cool. And he put it on, and it sent him to the Shadow Realm well, <laughs> instead. He spent several years trying to get out, and when he finally got back to his kingdom, the demon that had tricked him 
was like wearing like his shape and like pretending to be him and was like ruining the kingdom. <laughs> All right. I think we've met our anime quota. That's Bible anime. That's the original <laughs> anime. Yeah. Not even Bible. That's pre-Bible anime. <laughs> okay. We would move on to telling a tale of the Legion, but not enough people have died. Maybe one, one more. One yeah, more. We'll move on to campaign actions. Quartermaster, it is time to spend free campaign actions based on current morale, which is still nine. Woo! That's your option. You may right, spend two free actions. Yes, two free actions. You can spend supply for more. Okie doke. So, Liberty. <laughs> Gonna be one of them. All of the army is allowed to cut loose. Yeah, which which is interesting because we did so at the the consonant steps. It, uh, yeah, the marshal reduces each legionnaire's stress by three and adds two to morale. So we go max out again. But yeah, I know we did a, a liberty at the last place we were at, but Sar- Sarpot is like, in as much as it's a previous, mostly abandoned city, um, it's still city. So it seems like there would be more stuff to do here, or at least other people to interact with who aren't also in the legion. Yeah, I think there are. Places that are willing to to sell you stuff to party with. Probably hmm. pretty discount prices, too. Everything, Everything must go. must go. Yeah. Never opening again sale. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad. Uh, I don't like that wording. But yeah, so that seems like, uh, uh, I hope that's good and fun time for everybody. Um, it seems that way. It seems like... I, like, like we said, we just maxed out on morale again. It seems like, regardless of the situation, we seem to be in pretty good spirits. Yeah, people are still at the, oh no, people have died, but we're going to party in their honor phase. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which in a way is very consonant legion of them. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, good, and excellent. Somebody's dragging Gemma on a, a, a pub crawl, basically. <laughs> Except you have to you have to really like find the the pubs that are still open. Some of them are just like someone's back porch. Mm. Mm-hmm. Some of them are a warehouse that someone found. Some of them are a closed pub that you break into yeah, with what, your rookie friends. Yeah, one hundred percent. Well, we're gonna have to stock up uh, for <laughs> for booze for the road. You know. Oh boy. Yeah. Quartermaster, what is your second free action? I mean, acquiring asset seems like a good thing to do here. Because I don't know... How long are we going to stay here in, in Sarpat? Do we know? Has that decision been made? Um, I was thinking at least one more round, but we'd probably have a discussion about it. So yeah, it seems like this would be a good place to restock. Because depending on which direction we go next, right? It's either north, which... Seems to have a lot less big places with lots of people. Or there are multiple plants that take us into a not a lot of people zone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is a special rule here. I can't find where I wrote it down, so let me find mm. where it is in the book. I was going to ask. Oh, right. I think you did write that somewhere. Maybe it was in... It was something like oh, everything stuff. was available here. Uh, acquiring food and horses. Is it plus two dice here? Oh, hell yeah. So basically, this is the Consonant Legion version of that uh, Guy Fieri TV show where the people like running up and down the like supermarket aisles. Supermarket sweep? <laughs> yeah. We're just, we're just doing a supermarket sweep on Sarpot with like booze and food. Uh, Guy Fieri? Market sweep. Guy Fieri was involved with supermarket sweep? I think there's a I new one. I think he hosts. Yeah, they've made a new oh. one and he hosts it. So back yeah, in my it. day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That bleach-haired oh. bastard would never get even close. Sarpot Market Sweep. Okay. Sarpot Market go. Sweep. There you go. That's it. So this is our first time rolling for Fairing food, asset. right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so when you acquire assets, leave, you roll the asset rating of the region. I'm imagining that in that scene earlier where people were talking about their homelands, I imagine everybody brought up like a favorite dish from their culture, and I think that they have that in mind as they're like rating these uh <laughs> these 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 food stores to try to like 
find things from their culture to like show their friends. They're going to be able to find like a third of what it is that they would want, <laughs> but they you can know, try. They improvise. Yeah. Well, I guess I should, I should hold off. We will see what the, the role is, right? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So when assets are available, the location is highly to do, to do, to do. Um, oh, is that the the words? Yeah, look? yeah, it's weird. That's yeah. beautiful. It says, uh, when assets are available in the location, but up, 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 uh, I'm loving it. Oh, ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's that's really good. You know, wor- wordsmanship I, there. Thank I you. I thought it was. I, I wrote Band of Plans. I'm, yeah. I'm I, like I, the I like the yeah. it. I'm like the <laughs> it. Yeah. So Starpot is rating two. If you are trying to acquire food, then you're rolling four. Oh, diggity. Yeah. Sick. Okay. Uh, 46. 46 uh, food. Nice. Okay. That's nice. six. six. Cool. That's fine quality. You can spend supply to upgrade your result by one level. Exceptional. Yeah. Would a fine or exceptional result might indicate more than the maximum uses or special properties for that resource. Yeah. Magic food. <laughs> it's astronaut. It's that freeze dried astronaut food oh you get. As it's a salt cod. It's just barrels and barrels of salted cod. <laughs> so what do we think? I this is already fine quality, which means it's better than getting a regular thing of food, which I think means you get four uses out of it. Mm. Um, if you were to boost it to exceptional, um, I'd say you get six uses out of it. So two foods for a crit. Yeah. Two foods. Mm hmm. I'm just wondering if I use that supply for another different downtime or campaign action instead. Mm hmm. I think I might rather do that. Yeah. Um, keeping in mind, if you acquire assets again, you have to acquire something that's not food. Yes. Cool. Okay, then. Are you going to spend that supply for another action? Um, I know there were scenes people wanted to do. Did we want to get into some of those first, and then I might decide? Because I think the the downtime asset I'm thinking about now is a, the long-term project, especially to deal with the whole, hey, never, what's happening with those? But um, I kind of want to see what comes out of any of those. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, it doesn't yeah. have to be a scene, but I think it'd be awesome if there was like a Legion cookout. <laughs> I am into that. I would kind of like to see what the results of this debrief are. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Because that might that might really color <laughs> the uh, the attitude of things going forward. Do you want to do the Marshall Commander scene first or we just want to skip that? Just go to the debrief. I think it should happen before the debrief if it's going to be on camera, so to speak. Yeah. Where does that happen? Probably the commander's tent. Definitely the commander's tent. Now, what's the commander doing when the marshal walks in? Um, he has the uh, uh, that big box that we got from the Eyes of Smoke guy uh, over on one side. And uh, uh, like a little fold out table, <laughs> not not like a poker card table because we don't have that because we're in like, you know, not that level of tech times, but like some kind of light table that can be moved really easily. And there's a big like map in front of that and like stacks of paper on either side. I think there's like a couple rookies in here who like are helping move just stacks of paper around um, but as soon as Marshall enters and Azar gets a look at his face, he dismisses them and they like run out hurriedly. Azar uh, uh, has a uh, a monocle over his good eye, which he doesn't let people see him use, except very limited set. Uh, and he removes that and places it into a pocket on a doublet, uh, pats that down, and then just sort of nods. Well, you got what you wanted. I hope you're happy. You're not. Two of my rookies are dead. Three of your rookies are dead. Two of them died today. 
Because you wanted to see some action. Is that what you think? What I think... There was no reason we had to assault that place. We just need to get to the capital. Now's not the time to be looking for glory. You should know that. And I'm surprised you don't. Marshal, I'm disappointed. Makes two of us. Wait, what? What are you... Dis- <laughs> what? Have you... I'm the one disappointed. Have you read read the report? Have you heard from the rookies who went? I was going to go there after I yelled at you. Marshal, if we had not taken out that manor, Sarpat would no longer exist. So we gave Sarpat, what, two weeks? One week per rookie? Nobody here is going to live to the end of the month, at the most. I won't deny that. Marshal, if you are angry, you are of course welcome to express that to me. I will take on every death, every sin. I'll take the blame. I am magnanimous. I am the commander. You're a piece of shit. Don't kid yourself. You think you could be all high and mighty? Well, my rookies are dying out there. You don't know what they're saying out there, do you? I'm the one who talks to them. You're just hauled up in this room, in this tent. Marshal, my job is to guide this legion. Your job is to ensure that the rookies are prepared for what they have to face. Well, I can't prepare them for something when we have to send them in blind, not knowing what we're going to go up against. They're telling me about Never that we've never seen before. And you wanted them destroyed. And somehow we did it. But if we knew more, we wouldn't have lost anybody. Marshal, we've had losses before. Where is this coming from? Like how we've had losses before. Do you know how many people are in this Legion left? Yes. Less than 40. I've been marshaled to thousands. And we're down to 40. Every death counts. You're right. Do your best to ensure there are no more. You're dismissed. I think he kicks over your coat rack as he leaves. Sure. Um, Do we want to talk about the um, the debrief scene? Is there is there anything there that we want to zoom in on? Yeah, I think I wanted to just, like, I don't know, we could abstract it a little bit. Yeah, have th- like, th- that can be a sketch, not a whole scene, if, if that's what we want. So, like, the scene I was imagining here was um, the marshal having both squads present uh, with the new rookie on the Emperor Wolves to go over what happened at both uh, missions, what went right, what went wrong. Uh, probably talking about um, that moment where um, Kayo was doing a setup action for the rookies to fire on the the never mm-hmm. and uh, that setup being a stumble mm-hmm. and then the rookies coming in anyway. Like the one dialogue piece that I want out of this is like Marshall asking Kayo, well, did you think you couldn't get out of there if the rookies hadn't stepped in? Like, get out of that, just that situation, or out yeah, of the Yeah, like, place? disengage and regroup. Uh, what had happened was you had failed that role, and then yep. I had chosen to go in anyway. Mm-hmm. And Marshall is bringing up that choice and asking, like, maybe Walut says something like, well, Penthos thought that we needed to get Kayo out of there. Uh, And Marshall looks at Kayo and says, did you need help getting out of there? I might not have, but I didn't make that known fast enough. Hmm. All right. And I think Kayo Kayo is like making eye contact with the Marshall, but like is clearly like just... Extremely guilty about that, like... 
mm-hmm. I think feels really bad about that moment in particular because like that's that's their whole job. It's like I'm here to be the one who gets hit so no one else has to, and instead everybody got hit and people died. Yeah. Uh, and the marshal looks at the rookies and points at Kyo and says, "This is your heavy. They can get out of any situation." Kyo here is head to toe covered in armor. There ain't nothing that's going to stop them from getting back to this camp. Understood? Chorus of, yes, sirs. Mm. <laughs> Where do we think Sarah Kali chills during all of this? Um, I feel like we haven't seen her. I was while. thinking about that. I think she is at the debrief. Okay. Um, Does Sarah Kali just like stand as like a creepy glowing statue like amongst <laughs> the ranks um maybe off to one side leaning against a post arms crossed looking at everyone and no one at the same time after everyone is left or as everyone is leaving says but doesn't look up builder kaya stay a moment Stops walking, but like faster than I expected to. It's like, oh yeah, all right, I'm not going anywhere. Uh huh. Um, I think Sari Kali gets up slowly and walks over. Again, I think maybe deliberately not making eye contact, not out of like a shameful way, but like she she's trying not to fixate on you in a way that will like. It would be intimidating. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it feels like Sarah Kali is, like, just being around Sarah Kali, especially, like, one-on-one. Like, Kayo's not a small person, and I think just being, like, talking one-on-one to Sarah Kali makes him feel small in a way that's, like, very unusual. It's, it's still as if a wildfire is walking up to you. She says, We lost two. We discovered astonishing new creations we seem to have stopped them in their tracks we have bought ourselves and the people of sarpot a little more time you will continue to lead rookies many of them will die over the course of this war the legion is depending on you not to break no matter how many of them that you see fall. And then she looks at you. Yeah, I think the whole time Kayo has been staring at Sarah Kali, because, like, where else do you look? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Yeah, like you said, it's like a wildfire is walking up to you. It's like, yeah, pretty much nothing else exists now. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think it takes them a second to figure out what, if anything, to say, to put a sentence together. And they say, I know. I don't say this in judgment or out of cruelty. I say it because I know that your instinct is to be kind, is to protect others, is to make certain that they do not suffer. The Legion needs you. I need you. To know the difference between sacrificing and suffering. Dismissed. I think Aoife was kind of waiting up for Kaio um, and kind of peeking in. Oh man, what does Sarah probably look like? Kaio's weird eye. Sorry. Um, I was Aoife's eye. Yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. Um, I wonder if she just looks like she's like fully on fire. Yeah. White hot. Blinding like the sun. As Kyle walks back, he uh, hands them a little container of alcohol. <laughs> no, I think Kyle just like, I was, I was trying to think of like, whether it's the leather pouch or just like the idea of like the way people will like crush beer cans mm-hmm. just someone just like you just <laughs> crush it in your hand is just like down it in one shot it's very funny to me um and i think kayo just does that and looks at ifo with a face that just says like thank you i needed that 
Yeah. Um, I think she pats you on the back kind of like bro-ishly and uh, uh, says like, I-, I think I owe you uh, emotional support duty tonight after after the last one. Kayo just nods and starts walking back towards their tent with a like still big person, but like slouching more, I think, than they usually do. <laughs> right? They're going to go lie down for a bit, I think, and recoup, regather themselves, and then they'll be built. They'll stand tall. Again I think later. your face is still warm, and it's not from the alcohol. Yeah, there's like a there's like a, a lingering like yeah. I just stared at a fire, and it told me to like keep it together. So I'm gonna go <laughs> figure that out. Oathsworn is an actual play podcast created by Devin Nelson, Gavin Frazier, Chris Allison, Matthew Guzzile, and me, Brendan McLeod. All music for the show is created by Devin Nelson. Find it and more at devindecibel.bandcamp.com. Find the link to their music and any of the games that we've played in the podcast description. Follow us at Oathsworn Pod on Twitter or Oathsworn on co-host. Kiss your death square on the mouth. <laughs>